Hello guys, welcome to YBOFR, the channel with news, tips and free trainings. Today we will speak about delivery method. In order to create a delivery method, you need to go to sales, delivery method, and then you can click on create. Now we will create a standard delivery. We just enter the name of the delivery method and then we can create the carrier. For instance, now we have the transport company called My Carrier, and then we will put inside that it is a vendor. Now we can save our transporter. We can decide what we do in terms of pricing. The first option is fixed price. So we select fixed price and we can enter the value of the fixed price. In this case, it's going to be 100. So let us create a sales order now. We create the sales order with the customer Eva, very well known customer. And we enter a product that is going to be created automatically. And let us save with a price of um, 45. It's, it's in um, <clears throat> the price is in, in, in US dollar, it's the local currency. Everything is in the local currency. Now we can define the delivery method. And the delivery method is a standard delivery. And you see this, we can do this on the top of the sales order. When we click now on update, you will see below the delivery method that the price appears. And this is a price of $100. So we click on set price and this price is going automatically now in the sales order as a delivery line. Let us now change the delivery method. We want to have free delivery if the sales order is less than $50. So we just enter here $50 and we can save the delivery method, go back to the sales order. So let us create the sales order for Eva and we change the delivery method to standard delivery. Now we can enter a line. It's going to be the salt and we enter the unit price 45. This unit price is below 40 uh, is below $50. So let us see what happens. I can save and now I will update the total amount and see how, what happens with the delivery price. The total amount of the sales order is $51.75. And this is the reason why the price is already zero. So it's important to know that the, this is calculated based on the total amount of the sales order and not on the amount without taxes. Let us now update the price to 35 and do the same thing again. You see now the price is correctly $100 for the delivery. Let us go back in the standard delivery and try to do the price computation based on rules. If you look at that, you see that already two rules exist. These rules were created automatically by the system. So we want to add an item and you see there are plenty of possibilities to add items. You have um, different uh, methods for calculating based on the weight on the quantity. In this case, I want to have a price of 23 if the quantity is bigger than 10 pieces. So I type in the quantity bigger than 10 and then I type in the sale price for the delivery. I can save now. Now you see we have three rules. Let us see how it looks like in the sales order. I change to my standard delivery and I enter an item. I always my salt and I say the quantity is one. I can save 
the position and here you see if I update the price the price of the delivery is going to be 100 what is absolutely correct so let us now change this and put in the quantity of 11 I am expected to have 23 in the delivery so I do an update again but the, quant the price of the delivery is still 100 why? Let us go back in the delivery method. So if I look in the delivery method, I see that I have a sequence. I just need to move my condition a little bit up and save it again. Back in the sales order. Let us have a look. Now I have created my line again with 11 as a quantity and an update. And here you see the price of the standard delivery is 23. You have seen that the pricing calculation in Odoo for the delivery method is very advanced and should cover most of the needs. We haven't seen how it looks like for destinations, but you need to know that it is also covered in the standard. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the show. 